Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's all right this morning. On our prayer request today, Bud has a heart aneurysm and is going for surgery. Pray all goes well and for a quick recovery. Deidre's father's in the hospital with pneumonia. Pray he will get better and get to go home soon. <coughs> Pray for a happy life for PB. Pray for Tracy. She moved and is going through homesickness. Sherry Gann has an unspoken request. And Sharon needs prayer for God's intervention in her life. Okay. And our scripture today comes from Hebrews 11, 1 through 8. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what is vis was visible. By faith Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offerings. And by faith, Abel still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, be, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. All right. All right, and our uh, devotion today, well, what do I, here it is, uh, is entitled, Seeing by Faith. During my morning walk, the sun hit the waters of Lake Michigan at a perfect angle to produce a stunning view. I asked my friend to stop and wait for me as I positioned my camera to take a pic. Because of the position of the sun, I couldn't see the image on my phone screen before I snapped the shot. But having done this before, I sensed it would be a great picture. I told my friend, we can't see it now, but pictures like this always come out good. Walking by faith through this life is often like taking that picture. You can't always see the details on the screen, but that doesn't mean the stunning picture isn't there. You don't always see God working, but you can trust that he's there. As the writer of Hebrews penned, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. By faith, we place our confidence and assurance in God, especially when we can't see or understand what he's doing. With faith, not seeing doesn't prevent us from taking the shot. It just might make us pray more and seek God's direction. We can also rely on knowing what's happened in the past as others have walked by faith, as well as through our own stories. What God has done before, he can do again. What are you trusting God to do, even though you may not see it clearly right now? How has he delivered you or your family in the past? Heavenly Father, thank you for all the ways you provided for me in the past. Help me to walk by faith, even if I can't see all you're doing. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.